Montgomery County, Maryland is within the greater Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, located northwest of our nation's capital. Since the early 1970s, the county has been one of the fastest growing areas in the country. This growth has created ever-increasing demands for transportation services and infrastructure. It is the responsibility of the county's Department of Transportation to provide for these demands. Currently, we operate over 200 buses, which serve over 45,000 riders per day, and maintain approximately 1,800 miles of roadways and 1,000 miles of sidewalks. Many of the roadways and sidewalks located in the most urbanized parts of the county reflect older infrastructure. These were constructed without addressing or being aware of the accessibility needs of the disabled. Our department has made a commitment to provide an accessible public transportation system. Just as buildings and public transit are expected to be accessible, so must our streets, intersections, and sidewalks. Accessible ramps are often too few and obstacles too many. To achieve accessibility, we have developed a program which identifies obstacles and proposes improvements that would provide a clear pedestrian pathway. Our department has an employee who has been instrumental in helping us become more aware of the obstacles to accessibility. Margie Thomas offers a unique perspective which opened our eyes to her world. Hi, I'm Margie Thomas. The world does look a lot different from down here. There are objects in the path of a pedestrian that are not even noticed, but for me they become barriers to my independence. I'm going to show you some of the obstacles that I've encountered. So come along with me on a typical field check for our accessibility program. Most people may not be aware that 43 million Americans have some form of disability. This number is expected to increase as the population grows older. There are many types of disabilities. Our accessibility program is concerned with those individuals who have difficulty using our transportation system. Congress recently enacted the Americans with Disabilities Act. This act allows the disabled population to become independent by requiring provisions for their accessibility. The accessibility program that we have developed focuses upon specific urban centers within the county. We identified routes between major attractions and destinations within those centers. Each route is field checked for obstacles to accessibility and improvements are proposed. Cost estimates are prepared and improvements are prioritized for implementation. Finally, we developed a new capital project to fund accessibility improvements. Each year we will address the accessibility needs of a different urban center. The success of our program is that we use someone like myself who is mobility impaired to identify obstacles that would have been missed without the benefit of my perspective. When doing our field checks, we look for improvements that need to be made. This crosswalk needs to be repainted.
These shop owners need to be notified that their signs are blocking the pedestrian pathway. This newspaper stand needs to be relocated and the drop off on my left is hazardous. This is an example of older infrastructure. The sidewalk is too narrow and its slope pulls me toward the street. This should be reconstructed. These differences in grade should be avoided in new construction. These cracks need to be repaired. They can be dangerous. Hitting one at that slope could easily throw me out of my chair. This island is an obstacle and needs to be reconstructed for pedestrian access. These utilities are obstacles and should be relocated out of the pedestrian path. This will be costly. These curb ramps and driveway ramps are too steep and need to be reconstructed. Crosswalk should be painted here to indicate the pedestrian space. This island is a barrier which forces pedestrians into the street. This can be a frightening experience. Here, the sidewalk space suddenly narrows. This older sidewalk needs to be entirely reconstructed and obstacles removed. There are curb ramps missing in the intersection which makes it impossible to use the crosswalk. This curb is a barrier. A simple curb ramp could keep me out of danger. The slopes of the driveway flare should be 1 to 12 maximum grade if they are part of the walking surface of the sidewalk. The sidewalk in disrepair appears innocent, but it's a barrier to me.
Construction materials can sometimes cause obstructions. This needs to be considered when placement is done. Location of signposts and other needed improvements, such as this bus shelter, need to provide an accessible pathway. This curb ramp and side flares were not constructed to a 1 to 12 slope requirement. They are too steep. A clear pedestrian straight pathway needs to be considered at all times. Parked cars commonly obstruct the sidewalk. There needs to be properly placed stop bars or wider sidewalks in these areas. Even the bus lift needs plenty of clear sidewalk area to function properly. I hope my field observations have been helpful. Accessibility can be addressed by removing obstacles from the sidewalks. However, there are two underlying reasons why the obstacles exist. First, there is generally limited space set aside for pedestrians. Second, there are many other requirements competing for that same space. These include utilities such as poles, fire hydrants, and signal boxes, newspaper stands, bus shelters, and trees. To assure that these competing needs do not become obstacles to accessibility, two things must happen. The individuals responsible for placing items in the pedestrian space must be aware that these items often become obstacles to accessibility. 
then a clear path of pedestrian accessibility must be a priority. It is essential that a clear path of accessibility, a four foot wide sidewalk, free and clear of obstacles, be maintained. The uniqueness of the accessibility program that we have developed is that it incorporates the perspective of the disabled individual in identifying accessibility improvements needed in our transportation system. It is our hope that this program will make accessibility truly an attainable goal 